Hello everyone, hope your day is going fantastic. Today we are in front of Tony Bologna's Pizzeria, one of the most unique pizzerias in all of New Jersey. And we are not only just eating the food today, we are making it. So welcome back to a brand new episode of My Fortunate Life Choices. If you've never heard of Tony Bologna's, they do this very special thing on Tuesdays where they make a taco pizza. Unfortunately, today's Friday, but we messaged them earlier and they're down to do it for us today. So let's get in there and let's make one of these taco pizzas. Come on. So we're here with someone super special. This is Mike. Mike is letting us up, come guys? back here and actually make a pizza, which is super exciting. I appreciate we're it. Doing, Welcome to the channel. We're doing a taco pizza. Tell us about this. So How did gonna, this happen? We're gonna mix it up. Okay. So basically, we had a bunch of kids come in the shop, and they were high as hell. <laughs> That's how I figured. And they look at me like, "Yo, let me get some tacos, bro." It's like, uh, it's "Tony Bonus, do you like you know pizza, subs, wings, whatever." They're like. Man, but it's like Taco Tuesday, yo, what's up? That, that, that's right, like, it's yeah. Taco Tuesday, why wouldn't we need to, yeah, like, I got you. Came back in the kitchen, we busted some homemade tortillas, brought it out, like, yo, thank you so much, this is perfect. And I was like, you know what, F it. Like, 10 years earlier, I was those kids. I want to blow these kids' heads off. I want right. to fall in the chair. So I came back, made the taco pizza, just started up quick, and they were like, what? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Bugging out, insane, flipping yeah. out, going nuts. And I told them, like, Yo, don't tell me your friends, because my kitchen's going to kill me. Like, they, they, Yo, can we get the taco pizza? And they're like, oh, we can't do that again. Right. And they, then their friends came like, Yo, we not say anything, but, like, can I get a taco pizza? So we did it, and we did it again, and we did it again. Next thing you know, we're doing, like, 300 pies a night. Damn, 300 on, on taco pizzas? On Tuesdays, yeah. Jesus, so this great. is the place to come it's if crazy. you want to try a taco pizza. I'm excited. I mean, we invented it, we do it, all of our shops do it on Tuesdays. So, Line out of the door, it's, it's crazy. All right, let's get to it, no time to waste. Yeah. Five and a half minutes max, it's out of the oven, and then now it's taco time. Sweet. Uh, anyway, we're gonna do a couple different ones. Okay. So we're gonna do grilled chicken. Alright. We're gonna put some pickle jalapeno crema. Got it. A little bit of mezcal marinated steak. We're gonna do a little bit of chipotle crema. Mm. We'll get this working. What I want you to do is I want you to just mix it up on the grill. <laughs> Four and a half. I mean, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. Wow, that looks delicious. A lot of soup in there, homemade cheese, a lot of moisture. So, what we're going to do, we're going to let it chill out for a few minutes. Out of the oven, okay. maybe like five minutes. Perfect. We'll calm down a little bit, not so sloppy. Yeah, we'll yeah. tighten up. In the meantime, we'll make some tacos. How about that? Let's do it, man. Perfect. <music> Serving a guac Ooh. in the middle. Start smacking down. Give me like three smacks. One more smack. Boom, right, spread it out so it fills all the gaps. It's a nice circle. We're gonna put a little beet horseradish sauce. That was probably the best taco alone I've ever had. Oh, man. All right, cool. That was good. Right. Good on that. Throw a little on here. Why not? Yeah, that's what I then saying. some cilantro. Put the cilantro on top. Uh, all over. Yeah. All cilantro, babe. Yeah, cilantro <laughs> bay. Taco pizza bay. There you go. Spread it out. Spread it out real nice. Potato chips. Potato chips. Potato chip, eh? This is the taco pizza. This is amazing. This is all born and bred. I honestly from, from, can tell from you. From stoners. I have never in my life seen something like this. All right, well, it's when, beautiful. Once you eat it, it's gonna be even better. Oh, God. Now 
it's the moment we have all been waiting for, the taste test. I don't really know where to begin with this. I'm gonna go the route that he said, take a taco off, eat the taco, then go for like a full sandwich. I don't know. Let's just go at this. It's I think be the messy. first thing I wanna try is this one. Give it in the guac, he said? Yeah, that's what he said. Oh shoot, I lost some meat. All right, cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> The taco alone, rethinking everything you ever Ooh, eaten. A bit of spice. These tacos are better than that you get at Mexican restaurants. Yeah. We're in a, we're in a pizza joint. Oh, and in a, a half Mexican, half white guy made it. Me. I made bad. this. Really? Not bad, right? Open up the taco stand. There's a, like a slight spice to this taco where it's not like a spice that's like in your mouth sitting there, but it just kind of like tingles. It's not like a yeah. real big spice where you're like, oh my God, that's hot. But it's more of just, <laughs> it sits in the back of your throat. You feel a little bit, but it's almost like a warm feeling in your, in your throat. Perfect balance. The perfect balance. balance. But you know what I love? The corn chips give it that crunch. Mm -hmm. The corn chips does a lot. There's so much sauce on here that it just makes it like a juicy bite. Every bite is like a juicy, messy bite. There's no way to eat this without making a mess. There's no way to like, go on a date and eat this and look appropriate, you're gonna be a mess eating it, but it's so amazing. So I'm guessing oh, wow. this is how you're supposed to do it. I thought you meant to, okay. And then flip the top in, so there's guac in there. Oh my God, hold on, that's too much guac, I'm gonna die, okay. Here is shit. an insane creation that I made in the back, thanks to Tony Bologna's. You guys need to smash the thumbs up button right now. This has, it's been, it's never been done. He created this. We have never tasted anything like this. So before we do this, we have to know what we're getting ourselves into. We have a pizza with tacos inside the pizza, with guac all over the pizza. I would have never thought putting guac on pizza. Didn't, didn't know that belonged to each other, but, but notice it hasn't broken apart. Look, I'm holding it with one hand. The dough is very high quality, and I think without any further ado, let's take a bite. This is too much happening. I, I can't describe it. <laughs> Like we should have got some enough. napkins. Mm. This has so many different flavors that it's really, it's hard to grasp on what you are eating at the moment. You taste a mouthful of guac. You got a little crunch in there from the, <laughs> the <laughs> you got the meat, you got tons of cheesiness just in your throat. It's just, it's so much. Burn. This is heavy too. Like there's no way we're eating more than like one slice each. Yeah, because you're getting three tacos and a slice of pizza. Oh, oh this is everything I've ever dreamed of. Like this is a foodie's dream right here. You know what, I just love how messy it is. Like yeah. there's no shame. There's no shame in eating something like this. I feel like everyone is so enticed in the meal, like looking at it when they walk by, that they're not seeing that you have food all over your face. They look at the face and go, damn, that looks delicious. I don't want some of that. I don't even know, look at this thing. Do you see this? Mm. It looks like a, like a, like a Mediterranean wrap. It's like, that looks insane, you know? No, right. It's just so good. You saw how many different sources and Everything were in each different meat. Yeah. You combine all together on a pizza with more cheese, unreal. At first I was skeptical about the, the corn chips being on there. I was like, how is that gonna add to it? But it really does. You don't taste that they are actually barbecue chips, but it just goes so well the with, with oh. the pizza. Mm. This is it. This is unreal. This is where I'm retiring. New Jersey, I'm gonna live in this building right here so I can walk over here every day for lunch. So what's crazy about this pizza is that there isn't a single thing on here that does, that tastes like it doesn't belong. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? When, when I was making it, I was putting like a mushroom, this is a mushroom taco with corn. I was thinking to myself, how is this gonna be a taco? But I just had one in here and it's, it's outstanding. Every single bite is something new. You know, the guac is so fresh that I that I swear the guy who probably just made it right before. Like there's no way that this was bought. Nothing here was bought. He even said everything is fresh. You can taste the freshness. You can taste that everything is just like meant to be. You know, I, I don't really have a way to explain it. It's just that everything goes together. I mean, I would have never thought these two things would have gone together. I just appreciate the innovation. Like tacos on pizza. I'm not gonna lie, if I heard that, I'll be like, you guys yeah. crazy, like, why Why would you do that? It sounds like a stoner's dream, and that's what he said. It's, a couple stoners came in here and they ordered this. Uncomparable to anything I've ever tasted before, and I don't think I'll ever taste anything else like this. Like, I don't think any other place can make one as well as this. 
because everything was handmade. All the way down to the tortillas. Everything was handmade. Like I feel like if we tried to recreate this, we're gonna buy tortillas at a store and it's just not gonna be the same thing. He's going to Italy to pick certain chilies and to make the it's olive oil. It's his own olive oil. Yeah. Bread. That's what I'm saying. Like, like this is next level. This is on every Tuesday you can order this. I wonder how much this pizza actually costs. We'll find out later. But also he's got a number of locations, so check him out to see where they are. I, I commend you on yeah, this. Yeah, man. Guy. Good work for this, this is amazing. So, if someone wanted to come here and order this, how much would this pizza cost? So, that one I just made, it's 12 bucks a slice. 12 bucks a slice. The whole pie, normally is a little smaller, but it's two tacos per slice, it's 80 bucks. 80 bucks. This one I made is like what we put on the counter. So you come up and you order a slice of this. You say, y'all want a slice of taco pizza? You get that slice for 12 bucks. You're basically getting three homemade tacos, a slice of pizza, a side order of guacamole. It's a lot. It's a lot. And people don't realize it. $12, oh my God. And then they get like, yo, I can't even finish this. This is nuts. I had one, one of like so far, I haven't even finished the crust and I am full. Like I'm like, wow, this is yeah. this is a good amount. I, he hasn't even tried it yet, he's over here dying. I'm gonna wash my hands. Yeah. Come on. I'm gonna wash my hands. Yeah. Don't spill on me. Let's see how it holds together. It still stays. Like it's a sturdy piece of dough. That was a lot of guac, but not in a bad way. Talk to the camera. You're so fresh. Now I understand when I asked him to come at 11, he said 12 would be better because he was probably prepping all this guac fresh. It's Friday, so he doesn't do this on a Friday. So, so he did this for so us. So Mike pulled some strings for us and actually pulled out all these supplies. This is only done on Tuesdays, so shout out to Mike for that. That crema sauce is so good. So good. And the other thing about it is it's not only delicious in taste, but the aesthetics of this pizza is a wow factor. Like this, their Instagram for Tony Bologna's is actually pretty big. They have like 50K or 80K or something like that which is a lot for a pizza place, you know what I mean? Because the way they make their pizzas is not only just to make a pizza, but it's art. You know, you know, he made a perfect bullseye, like he's been working at this for a long time, you can tell. Because if I would've tried to do that bullseye, that shit would've looked like the target size. And there was nothing wasted either, like every little spot is filled. You see how big those tacos were he was smacking them in? Yeah, I was making them. It they was, were filled to the about, thing, like was, I was like, had a whole handful of meat. Oh, yeah, what do you mean, struggle? Look at that, perfect. Yeah. Oh my god, was that an amazing pizza, man. Thank you again for everything. Oh, that was awful. We gotta do that again. Hold on. Oh my god, that was an amazing pizza, bro. Even worse. <laughs> Round three. Last one. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. If you're in Hoboken, come check out Tony Bologna's. It's absolutely the most amazing pizza you'll ever have. Make sure you come on a Tuesday so you can have what we had because that thing is out of this world. Do you have anything you want to throw in here? Any plugs you want to say? Follow them on Instagram. They got some crazy pictures on there. That's how I found them. Tony Bologna's, do a thing. Do your thing. There we go. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you never miss a post, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Make sure you guys check out yesterday's video, and also make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. Follow me on my other social medias, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.